Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and what I have out here in front of me are seven miniatures that I printed on the Flash Forge Adventurer 5M 3D printer with the standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Now, if you're interested in printing miniatures, the ideal way to do it would be to print them in resin and the smaller details will come out sharper when you use resin. However, downside of resin is that it's poisonous and not everyone has the ability to have a dedicated space to safely use resin and that's where this comes in. So let me just show you some of these models from this side and I'll move over to the gray and I printed all of these with a layer height of 0.08 and a first layer height of 0.16. Now 0.08 is the lowest that you can go, recommended at least, with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle that comes standard. But if you have the smaller 0.25 millimeter nozzle, you'll be able to print at lower layer heights and thus getting better detail at the cost of a longer print time. Now the white models over here were printed with Elegoo's matte white filament. And as we get a closer look at these, this is the Mandalorian with Grogu. The matte white filament does a good job at hiding layer lines compared to other types of filament. And I think that this model came out looking pretty clean. I do like the way that he looks. Although, of course, when you're dealing with filament, the smaller details are gonna have a harder time coming out, especially with this standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle but you can still make out what everything is supposed to be. It's just not going to be super, super detailed. The next one here is of this knight and he is holding his weapon here. And I think that he looks pretty decent as well as this other knight that's also holding a weapon. Now, all of these were printed without supports. And that means that a lot of their features are going to be kind of just holding on to their body to create as fewer gaps as possible in order to print them without supports, without getting like a lot of spaghetti. Now, these other four models right here were printed with Elegoo's Gray Rapid PLA Plus. And the first one here is this Space Marine type figure. And I think that he looks pretty good as well. Then you flip him over on the back, you see there's a little bit of detail on his backpack that ended up coming out pretty good. And these models also did not take very long to print. The last two that I printed were this Space Marine guy here and this Grim Reaper on the end. And they both took about an hour and 10 minutes to print, printing together with the default speeds and the layer heights that I mentioned before. Now this next one is of this multi-eyed tentacled monster. He's the biggest out of all of them. And because he's larger, the details come out a little bit more. Although when it comes to the teeth in the front, that's where the details start to get a little bit more muddied. The teeth look more packed together. There's not a lot of separation between the teeth. Again, this is a supportless model. So everything is just sort of crammed in together. So you kind of lose the detail when it comes to the mouth. But overall, looking all around the figure, the layer lines are not too noticeable. And I think that is acceptable considering the restraints that we're on. Now, these last two models are a good example of what happens when you have like thin models that have fine detail in them that you're trying to capture with filament. And unfortunately, it tends to not come out all that great. Um, so if we're looking at the face of this model right here, it's really hard to make out the details on the face. You know that there's a face there, but it just looks a little bit meh. Now you can probably uh, improve that by slowing down the speeds, but running at the default speeds, things just get a little bit more murky. And then as for some of the adornments on them, the shapes came out okay, but it looks a little bit rough around the edges as it's trying to print at those high speeds, these really, really small details with that 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So this one did not come out as good as the others in my opinion. And then the last one is for this Grim Reaper holding this scythe. I think that the model came out good, although the weapon 
not so much. And the reason why the weapon has all this stringing down right here is because this is a pretty steep angle to be printing without any supports. So it got to like around the middle and then it tried its best to be clean all the way at this steep angle and it just was not happening. If this had supports, then this, uh, this end piece here would have been held up. So everything would have printed a lot more cleanly. But as far as the skeleton itself, I do think that the skeleton came out looking pretty decent in its details. And then as well as for the little wrinkles in its robe, those came out pretty good. And you can still clearly make out what it's supposed to be. And the bases that they're integrated on, they also came out nice and smooth, smooth edges. And I'm not seeing uh, layer lines that stand out to be distracting on these bases at all. But, you know, all things considered, printing these small miniatures at high speed, I think that they came out pretty decently. Although, like I said, if you have the smaller nozzle, then you can get an even better result. So that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching and be sure to check out my Flash Forge Adventurer 5M playlist that I created that includes all the videos that I made about this printer in the past and will include all the videos I make in the future about it as well. Till next time, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.